with me here is a Lenovo T470 laptop, uh, ThinkPad model, and uh, it's failing to display the log, uh, Windows login page. And uh, we would like to solve that problem. Welcome to the Opposite Diversity Solutions, Solutions to Excellency. And so let's see how we can solve this. It displays, uh, it displays up to this level, but doesn't give you the login, uh, the lo Windows login page. So we would like to solve this problem, me and you. So stick around. Let's do this together. Opposite Diversity Solutions to Excellency. Let's dig in right now. <music> Now, this, this problem could be caused uh, by ma uh, many factors and uh, it's just a matter of you juggling out and see which, which one could be the cause. So uh, our first cause, number one, it could be the operating system having issues, that's number one, and that could be because of the antivirus not active or something like that. So it, uh, it, it would be that the, the operating system is outdated or corrupt. And number two, there could be a problem with the hard disk or rather the hard drive which could be running the operating system or where, where the operating system would be running. So we need to first check out and see whether we rule out all those problems. First we need to check with the operating system. Then number two, we need to check with the hard drive which is uh, running the operating system. Are such scenarios occur when Maybe there is uh, a software which is trying to block the operating system from booting and uh, completing its booting session. So such softwares need to be removed or rather uninstalled. There are options that we need to consider. Maybe you could uh, change or rather uninstall those softwares that are trying to block or rather check them out and see where. if that's the cause then you get rid of these softwares. It could be a problem with the virus, or rather it could be a virus uh, infection. That could be also, also leading to us not being able to have the login screen where we can log in. So let's, uh, check, with the, let's check with the hard drive first before we uh, deal with the operating system. Because if we don't check with the hard drive, we could also reinstall the operating system yet. It's the hard drive having a problem. So let's see whether we can check out the hard drive, the hard disk with me. So we need to unscrew and open up this laptop and see how we can get the access to the hard drive to check it out externally like we have done in the previous video. So let's just open the, open the laptop up just to get access to the hard drive which is running the operating system and check it out and see how it's done. So I will need the tools. You can get a link below for how to uh, disassemble the Lenovo T470 in our previous videos. I shall link. I will leave the link below. So let's just unscrew the laptop. So first thing first, we have to first remove the battery, just like this. Then unscrew. Remove these screws there, one, two, three, four, five, six. So unscrew all the six screws. Once you are done, you open your cover, your back cover. And this is where we have the hard drive. So let's first check out and see what could have been the cause of that problem. So now we need to get out the hard drive but now this hard disk the way I'm seeing it's not intact so there could be a problem let's first remove it and disconnect it and see so when I disconnect it it's uh, it's it's having this uh, uh, tip insulating tip or rather silo tip that was uh, put down to attach the hard drive. So meaning that uh, it wasn't stable, it wasn't fixed firmly, and uh, it was all shaking. So that also could affect the operation of the hard drive, uh, meaning that there could be a fault in the hard drive. So let's, ju let's just test it and see whether we can 
get good out of the hard drive. It, number one, it could be a sign, a warning sign that the hard drive is dying off and that could have been the cause of it not reach, uh, reaching the login page, the Windows login page. So let's check out and see how we can test this. Uh, so with me, I have this uh, hard drive that we have uh, gotten off the laptop that was misbehaving and uh, we need to extract data from here and see how we can check out the hard drive whether it's functioning well and check out its operation whether it's working well fully well or it's having some issues and in case it's having some issues we shall find a solution for it so let's dig in and see how we can check this and uh, we're going to use this reader uh, you can get it on the market oh i can uh, Oh, you can check out the video below now to extract data from a dead laptop. So I will, I will, I will put the link below so that you can have access to it. So let's dig in and see how we can extract data. And uh, I have to connect, connect to this, connect this like this. Then connect the USB port, rather the USB onto the USB port on the laptop, just like this. So we're going to be using this very laptop. If I may adjust this camera. Okay, let me just adjust it like that. You can just connect this to the laptop. Just like that. So once I connect to the laptop, give us that sound to show that it has been read. Let me hope you can see very well. Let's see if we can. So let's check out and see what we have here. And uh, if you to check on the latest hard drives that we have on the computer, uh, it's this one running the operating system and this is the partition running the operating system so if we are to check exactly we see that there is there was an update on the windows if you were to check with the time and date so let's check the users and see there is this Francis as the main user so we have data here but uh, there is a sound that is being emitted from the hard drive which is affecting the flow or rather the life the lifespan of the laptop so we can't we can't continue using that hard drive because it's 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 having a warning sign that it will be dying soon now based on now based on the sound that has been being emitted by this hard drive there is a sign that the, the hard drive was about to die off or is in the process of dying off anytime so all we need to do is first get rid of this hard drive all we need to do is do our data backup before we get rid of the hard at the hard drive then after backing up the data we replace the hard drive to a newer version or rather a newer hard drive we upgrade to a newer version so that we don't have all of the, or rather don't lose any work but now we need to uh, we need to get one there is this that i have in play and uh, i need to replace it to see whether it, it operates well into the new or rather into the laptop so i'm replacing the old one with the new one right now and also, we need to check with the, the handle. We need to check with the laptop handle. If I may adjust this. Here where the, the, the hard drive sits, we need to get a permanent solution so that it does not shake again to cause the problem that has been ongoing. Let's first uh, see how we can get this running. So we need to wrap, get this coating. We need to get this coating off the old hard drive and put it onto the new hard drive. This helps in shielding 
electro static energy from harming or rather damaging the hard drive. So I'm putting this back to the new one. some little glue on it so we get the connector and connect it fully then pull it back here in its position Then we get our cover and then put back our cover. So once we put back our cover, we make it fine, put back our screws, put back the screws, put back the screws, put back the screws, put back the screws. Back the screws. And then put back our battery. So I will power it up. It will give me that uh, welcome message. Uh, the hard drive we have replaced is uh, having pre-installed operating system, which is Windows 10. That's uh, so it should be able to give us uh, the login window. So if I press here for the login window, so what we are left with is transferring uh, transferring files from this old hard drive that we've uh, gotten rid of and transferring its data or other files into the new hard drive with the new hard drive that has been replaced. So in case you don't know how to do that, you can check out in the link below on how to transfer your data from an old dead laptop into a working laptop. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for being part of the Opportunity Varsity Solutions. See you next time, anytime, anywhere. And in case you are new here, kindly subscribe. Support us by subscribing. And to the old timers, let's keep growing the channel together, me and you. Opportunity Solutions to Excellency. Cheers. Me out.